The Encounter of Princess Disquidia with Notius the Rotatoria. A multicellular story about the difference between hunger and greed. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful torrent in a big old forest. Many creatures lived in it, fishes and frogs, newts and snails, polyp and medusae, and even smaller, actually minuscule creatures lived in the water. Some of them attached themselves to water lilies. One only needs eyes sharp enough to detect these tiny creatures. Moss animals wavered around in lentil-shaped bodies with fringed periphery. They were surrounded by a delicate swimming ring. Over time, out of these small bodies grew a stick and eventually from the stick a moss animal that levitated in the water. Out of these, winter buds gave birth to a person with a mouth that was surrounded by a lophophore and a crown of flickering hair. Then there were the wonderful Peridinias, one of which Ornithocercus Magnificus was truly magnificent. The firmly seated flagellate Antufusa vegetans swirled with the running water of the torrent. Of all water creatures, Melitalia is the most social. She therefore is called the gregarious Algent. Daintily, she is organized in a lunar form, in Pediastrum Lunatum, or simply elegant, in Pediastrum Elegans. Life in the water, with all the vortexes and currents, was pleasurable for the small creatures. They jumped and bounced happily around and enjoyed themselves very much. But from time to time the happy life was obscured. This was when the Rotatorians 
of the family of the lorry seeds were hunting. The Rotatorians were dreaded. Their solid armature was reinforced with stinks. Ferocious wheel organs whirled their victims into the horrid maw head with moving teeth. Inescapable. On this beautiful summer day, the Rotatoria Nuntius showed up, and the gregarious Eljets were all excited and whirling around without sense. They could not do much else. But today there was a surprise waiting. Some weeks ago there was a storm that caused a lot of chaos, even at the bottom of the ocean. Of all things, Princess Disquidia of the age-old and powerful clan of the Protozoan was caught in a huge vortex that washed her straight up into the sweet water. Due to the lack of salt, she was a bit confused, but elegant as ever, she just floated upstream at the same moment as the Rotatoria was going out to hunt. She sparkled in her ruby robe and let her plasma threads twinkle in the sunlight. She was magnificent to behold. Even Notius was bedazzled by her ruby robe. Oh, what riches the deep sea holds! This meager hunt on Algets pales in comparison. How it would suit him to gulp this precious and let her rubies shine under his transparent armor. Dressed up like this, he could impress the puffed-up Rotatoria Stephanoceros Eichhornii. Notius veered and drew nearer to the princess, approaching her from the back. And at the very moment he was about to whirl the most powerful vortex with his wheel organ, he found that the princess was already on top, engulfing him with her thousand plasma threads. This came very unexpected. He squirmed and squirmed, but the three arms and one sting of the princess held him in place. Princess Disquidia acted impulsively driven by a pure lack of salt. She was both very small and very powerful, and thus knew no enemies. She had never needed to protect herself. Now she sensed the beautifully built armor of Notius under her body, and that stimulated her. On the other hand, Notius was distracted from his hunt for rubies and sensing something new as well. After a moment of resistance, the two surrendered to the new experience that carried them beyond their protozoan and rotatoria being.
After a while, they both became calm. Princess Disquidia woke up first. She gave Notius one of her rubies and ennobled him. The newly honored was touched by her generosity. He pulled out one of his toothed wheels and answered the gift by giving it to Disquidia. With the last sparkle of her rubies, she floated down the torrent towards the ocean. Still under the spell of his wondrous encounter, Notios laid lazily around. Then he felt a huge hunger and turned into the terror of the torrent again. But there was one difference in his hunting after the encounter with the princess. He had lost his interest in moss animals. But his hunger for the gregarious algets had increased. Poor algets. Notius swirled one after the other of these gregarious delicacies into his maw. How delicious they were! <laughs>